Real quick before this video starts, I'm doing a YouTube live trivia contest um, based on a series of videos, and this is going to be the first video in the series. So pay attention and more details at the end of this video about how to enter and all that good stuff. Let's get into it. So listen, I have $5. I'm really hungry. What's the most I can get for that? $4.24. So for less than five bucks, I can get not one, but two double cheeseburgers at McDonald's. Why does this $5 look different from these $5 almonds to this $6 bag of slaw? Why is it so different? When you're on a budget, which the majority of us are, it's easy to see the correlation that whatever empties your wallet usually isn't gonna fill your stomach. When I see that $5, two double cheeseburgers, and I'm hungry, that's gonna fill my stomach more than this little thing of almonds. So instead, these quick, processed, and less nutritious foods are often the choice for many of us. Stick around for this entire video where I tell you how you can eat healthier and stretch that $5 further than you thought possible. Most of us generally understand what a healthy diet includes. Plenty of vegetables and fruits balanced with meats and healthy fats. Oftentimes, we don't mean to choose these less nutritious foods, but it all comes down to the cost value of foods and we kind of throw away the nutritional value of foods. Now this brings me to my first food hack. Try different grocery stores. This is gonna depend on where you live, but stores like Aldi's, Market Basket, and Winco have been researched to have the lowest cost of groceries that you can find out there. I even encourage you to try farmer's markets or just local farms that sell produce. Oftentimes they have a reduced price because they're not going through the middleman of the grocery store. Doing this can help you balance that nutritional value and the cost value for your food. Hack number two is gonna be check your health insurance. There are a number of programs out there now where your healthcare provider can actually prescribe you healthy food. I know, and this is exciting for me as I go into healthcare. There are certain programs around the country that do this. In Washington, DC, they have developed this program called DC Greens. In Florida, they have Food RX, and then in Chicago, there's Veggie RX. Now, this is gonna depend, again, on your area, but this is a search away. Check it out, see what your insurance may cover. And I really only have ever thought of prescribing medications, whereas now, it looks like you can actually prescribe produce. And because this is offered through health insurance, oftentimes covered, or it's a reduced price, so it takes some of the stress out of your wallet. And even if you don't have this as part of your healthcare coverage, and you've been impacted by COVID or financially impacted in some other way, Feeding America has been filling bellies since 1979. Check out their website linked below to find your local food bank. In fact, most recently, Jennifer Lopez has teamed up with YoPlay, you know, the yogurt company, to help donate $600,000 to Feeding America. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the grocery store. Thanks, Jenny. The next hack is don't skip the frozen food section. There is a lot of good stuff to find in the frozen section. They freeze it at peak ripeness, they lock in all that good stuff, and it's frozen and it's, it's oftentimes cheaper than what the fresh produce is. For example, in my local grocery store, there was a frozen bag of one pound of a berry medley for $2, buck 98. And then you go over and the fresh blueberries is almost $4. I mean, it's a no brainer. Next time you go to the grocery store, compare the fresh and the frozen and figure out where you can pinch some pennies. Next up on the list is learn how to cook or just some basic cooking skills, whether it's dicing an onion or preparing some veggies or cooking some meat. Figure out how to cook. I guarantee you, you're gonna save money if you know how to cook. You can do it. In fact, there's YouTube channels all over the place dedicated to helping you figure out how to cook. And maybe you think that buying healthy is expensive because you're buying the wrong things. A beautiful example is this, is this five pound bag of potatoes that's just $3. I mean, talk about making your money stretch, but if you went and you tried to buy this bakeable potato that's wrapped in plastic for a dollar, I mean, you get three potatoes for the same price as you get five pounds of potatoes. Think about it. It's not rocket science. Another example is this cauliflower. I paid $2.77 for this, and I could have paid basically the same price for about half of this. All I was doing was paying for the convenience of it being cut up figure out how to cut it yourself, and you save 
money. A lot of these health forward meals that are pre-made or easily make or microwave only, they end up costing you more. Take this Uncle Ben's rice. It's almost $2 for a single serving of rice, whereas you can get five pounds of rice for $2.48. I wish I had an Uncle Ben though. Didn't Spider-Man have an Uncle Ben? Yeah. My final hack to help you stretch that $5 is to realize that there is no such thing as superfoods. A diet is a diet is a diet. It is a balance of nutritious meals with carbohydrates, fats, and proteins with all sorts of micronutrients. There is nothing inherently healthier of this cauliflower than that McDonald's. Really, it's all about balance. Stop splurging for superfoods. Don't do that. There's no reason to do it. It's honestly all just a marketing ploy. And if you buy these things, you're just another victim to their marketing campaigns. The takeaway point here is that diet is all about balance. And just like I'm teaching you how to balance the cost and the nutritional value of food, you also need to balance all the sorts of foods that you're eating in your diet. In the end, food is an experience and it's way to my heart and you should enjoy it as such. I hope this video helped you enjoy more nutritious foods in a more cost conscious way. I need to go eat some color. All right, Jonathan, so what's the deal with this YouTube live trivia contest? Here it is. First, hold on, let me start by saying I love trivia about as much as I love food, so this is very, very exciting for me. <laughs> um, who can enter? Anyone who is a subscriber to my channel. And two is that you just have to tune into the YouTube live. Here's the kicker though. All the questions in the trivia test is gonna be pulled from content that I've covered in videos. And I'll tell you which videos that I'm gonna be pulling questions from. Um, so, I mean, you don't have to watch all the videos to enter the contest, but it'll certainly behoove you to watch it because that's where all the answers are, okay? Um, unless you're like some sort of trivia genius, which I'm jealous. Anyway, um, so that's that's how you enter. And all the information on how to access the questions and, and uh, all that good stuff is going to be provided when I schedule the YouTube live and I'll schedule it a week in advance so you have a good um, idea of when that's happening. This is all really just to gain uh, a better relationship with you guys. I, I want to grow a relationship and um, hopefully this also helps the information that I'm providing stick. Hopefully it helps it stick so that you can go forward and make positive life changes because that's the whole point of why I started this channel is just to make you know an impact. And hopefully this, this is a step in that direction. Um, so tune into the YouTube live. Keep watching my videos. I'd really appreciate it. And um, until next time.